Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Hermione and I make videos about eco-conscious living, vlogs, and DIYs. Today's video is going to be more of an informational video about how plastic pollution is inevitably linked to climate change. Basically, how our consumption and disposable plastic leads to climate change. And although these are perceived to be two different environmental issues, by tackling one, plastic, we can help solve the other, climate change. No doubt, climate change is a big issue in the world we live in today. Most people have heard of the starving polar bears, experienced abnormal weather, and left the room with one conclusion. Companies and their industrial factories are wholly responsible for climate change. They need to stop immediately, and the government needs to do more. While this may be true, we often forget about our own habits. After watching a climate conference or reading an article, we go right back to our daily wasteful business. But what does plastic pollution have to do with climate change? A lot, actually. According to Circulate Capital, plastic production and disposal resulted in 850 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions in 2019. Greenhouse gases cause the greenhouse effect, as you may know, which is when heat gets trapped in the atmosphere and causes the planet to become warmer. This means that by buying plastic, we are causing its production and disposal, which contributes to climate change. In addition to this, a report issued by Beyond Plastics warns that the U.S. plastics industry's contribution to climate change is on track to exceed that of coal-fired power in this country by 2030, which is not so far off. This proves that if humanity doesn't solve the plastics issue now, it will later become a bigger threat to the world than non-renewable energy. Along with the negative effects of plastic on the climate, plastic pollution, as you might know, is detrimental to wildlife. A study done by PNAS Proceedings in the National Academy of Sciences estimated that 90% of seabirds today have ingested plastic, mistaking it for food. Among this percentage are critically endangered species, like the beautiful wandering albatross. In addition to animals being harmed by plastic, the very ground that crops are grown in, the crops that we eat, is too. In order to create plastics, a base of natural gas is needed. This natural gas is extracted from the ground through a process called fracking. Fracking is a process in which fractures in rocks below the Earth's surface are opened by injecting chemicals at high pressure. Fracking heavily pollutes soil that also draws from the planet's limited supply of fossil fuels. Speaking of a limited supply of fossil fuels, people have been very irresponsible with plastic usage. The World Wildlife Fund reports that 3 million tons of plastic are produced in Australia each year, but 95% is discarded after only one use. After a single-use plastic item is thrown away, where does it go? There are three possibilities. To the landfill, where it will leach toxins into the ground and eventually become microplastic to the ocean, where it will kill marine life and emit methane into greenhouse gas, or to an incinerator, where it will release carbon dioxide and other really nasty pollutants into the air. And you might think, hey, recycling, that's a great solution. Um, no. Even if plastic is put into the recycling bin, it will still hurt the environment. Recycling is a very carbon intensive process and it creates inevitable emissions that contribute to climate change. Plus, according to National Geographic, only 9% of plastic ever created is recycled. That means 91% is not, which defeats the idea of recycling ever being a solution to plastic waste. Some might argue that climate change is unimportant or actually beneficial for the world. Extremists might even claim that climate change is not real or that this whole thing was fabricated by the government and crying children who don't know the difference between fact and fiction. This is simply not true. Statistics show that the average temperature of the world has been steadily rising in the last decade and the majority of scientists agree that climate change caused by human activity is real. According to NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, climate.gov, 2020 was the second warmest year on record. So you may think, why does this matter? Well, if we don't start working towards solutions to climate change now, humanity will be helpless when the Earth reaches its limit. The world has already experienced negative effects of climate change like the Texas snowstorm, the California and Australian wildfires, and severe flooding in various parts of Asia. These events are only the beginning of what will happen if humans continue to pollute the planet. So, climate change caused by plastic consumption is real, but there's much that people can do about it. For starters, try to phase out single-use plastic like water bottles, straws, and utensils. Switch to low-waste products like shampoo bars, bamboo toothbrushes, and refillable hand sanitizer. To take it a step further, try composting food scraps. If none of these things are feasible at the moment, at least write an email to a company asking for more corporate sustainability and eco-friendly packaging, depending on what kind of company it is. This is an easy way to show companies that their consumers care about the environment, and it is something that they should invest and make policies in. 
You can also write letters to the government because that is the top level that ultimately the environmental change needs to come from if we want like really big change. Also, spread the word to anyone who will listen, friends, family, and even simple acquaintances. I believe that creation of awareness is the first step that should be taken to achieve a more sustainable world. And just to be clear here, I am not saying that we as consumers are totally responsible for climate change, but I am also not saying that we are innocent. The government, companies, and individual people all have a role to play in this climate change and plastic pollution thing. So do what you can to help the environment on an individual level and advocate for others to do the same. Thanks for watching! Like if you like this video, subscribe if you want notifications about new videos, I usually post a video every Saturday so please be on the lookout for that, and remember to comment down below if you are going to start doing any of the things suggested in this video, and if you like these kind of videos and think I should start making more informational type videos, or if you want a different kind of video and you'd like to request it for me to make. Have a nice day! Bye!